This is just a quick video to show how to use the PC Stitch Pro underlay feature to quickly create patterns. I'm going to use a simple uh, free clip art bear for our example. And I usually start by importing the pattern. Although when I do it then, you'll see we don't use the actual PC Stitch import except just to maybe choose the colors and get the sizes right. So I set the size, uh, how big I want it. We'll use 50, that seems reasonable. Uh, floss, it defaults to 50. Pick something small because you really only have three colors here. You may have to manually do it. I generally manually pick the colors, but this at least gives me a good starter. So once you do that, that gets your pattern set. And you don't need any of this because we're gonna do it manually because you get a better product. Delete what was there, and then you choose Underlay, and you select the same image you did before. Use to scale, and that'll set it up correctly. And now you have the bear underneath what you had, and you're ready to go. So the way I usually start is by outlining the border first. I use all the back stitch first. So I generally zoom in and there's a few tricks you generally can go with. Uh, you want to choose a color for the floss uh, that doesn't match. Otherwise it won't be easy to see. So this happens to have a pink, which is pretty good right there. We'll eventually replace that with black. So we start off here and then you just start outlining the border. I have back stitch chosen and you just start back stitching over. And you can see, I'll generally try and keep in line with it. If you get a spot like this where it doesn't, where it goes up and you see you get that, that's a good indication to go over. Just takes a little bit of practice to figure out how it's gonna go. Don't sweat the details in general. Uh, it's not that critical. If you chop off a bunch of this ear, it still won't look too bad. Uh, so if you go here and you can see again, down, 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 and so on. And you get the hang of it. it. Takes a little bit of time. You'll learn some tricks on your own, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, there are no real correct rules. Just depends how it looks when you're done. So I'm gonna continue this process. And since this picture is symmetric, meaning it's basically the same shape on the right as it is the left, we can save a lot of time here. And like in this, I don't like the way that looks, so you just back up and delete it and tighten it up a bit. I'm not a stitcher, but I do know, based on my wife's comments, what's easier to do and what's not. So you take it to here, right to the center, and then we'll just call this done right here. Here we're going to go over and we won't complete this right now we'll leave that there and you'll see what we'll do is we'll use this as the center too we're going to remove that line later but we'll do half the bear and then just copy it and flip it and you'll be done so that speeds up the process so you'll see here we'll go through again And I actually find this to be a pretty relaxing thing to do because it doesn't take much thought. It's basically just outline what's there. And this is a simple pattern. You can get more complex patterns too with a lot more color changes than that. But this is just to show you the basic techniques to get you started then. And I decided that that wasn't looking good. We 
because it was going to have that extra bump. So I tried to smooth it out a little bit better. And you don't have to, you can zoom way in if you prefer. Makes it easier. And you can see, don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's not real floss. And some of the pattern, this pattern is a little bit more difficult in some ways because the lines are so thick. So you have to do some thinking. Okay, so we got our halfway point there. And now you basically have to go in and fill it. Let's get the interior. I usually backstitch the insides too as well here. And the same thing holds. We only need to do half of that. Oops, chose the wrong color. This is also a place where you can, uh, because you see it's a circle, you only really need to do a quarter of it, and I'll show you that. So we've done a quarter of this. We can add this later. So we'll quickly, we need a different color. We didn't get the color here, so we'll just go here and I usually just dye it up. I'm not the best with colors. Um, I, I let the program do it, but my wife doesn't generally like those, so she goes and replaces them anyways. Uh, but it's a bear, so it's not too critical here. We'll try that one. So what we'll do now is switch to using the stitches. Well, we had the black. Let's go get the black. We'll finish this quarter of the nose. And I'm using quick keys to do this. Then that you'll notice I don't change, I don't touch the tool, and that really helps. And you can get those options here. And you go to um, let's see, stitch and drawing options. I think no, nope, no. Nope. It must be under quick keys. Shortcut clicks right there. So I like have <clears throat> control right gives you paint and then you can see pick up color as a right click. You can assign them whatever you want. Control left gives you a three quarter stitch. So that's how I do it. I have a control key and like if I right click, this grabs this color. Um, so it makes it real quick to make changes. You don't have to take your hands off the uh, you don't have to uh, refer to the tools up here and change that often because you could do it all manually or do it all automatically through keys. So when I go to fill this in then, we'll do a back uh, three quarter stitch, three quarters, three quarters, and so on. Now you don't have to, and that's a quick fill that I've got mapped. Sometimes it screws up. And if you choose your option here, this is what I usually do so you can see things a little bit better. Now you don't have to do this with the three quarters. You could also do that chunky if you want. It just depends on um, the style you prefer. So for example, if we wanted to do this like this, we could do it that way too. So we'll do, we'll do that just for the sake of argument here so you can see the two different approaches. Okay, might as well get this in for the back stitch. We'll round that out. And we'll change to this color. And with this, you have a, a paint option, which is what I did the last time. I just picked it up. But if you go to here on the tool and say paint, 
that fills it up. And I had a quick key assigned to that, which is why it looked like I didn't touch the tool before. So, okay, then you got half this in here. Um, let's grab the eye real quick too. We'll copy that and we'll flip it. So there, we got half this done now. I'll show you the way that, well, we'll finish up. Let's finish up the rest of the outline where I read it. Then we'll just get the whole bear done. So this is back stitch. And with this, I try and keep it symmetric. So you see that this is the same. So you can use that as a pattern. So that you're going to keep the same spacing. It may not match the pattern as well, but it looks a little bit more uniform and the person stitching it doesn't have to think as much. So you see that this is one, it's the same basic. Let's fix this one up to match too. So I'm not following the pattern, but it's going to look better in the, in the long run because that's what the original pattern looked like is it had a consistent thickness here. Well, the other way you could do it is it might match quicker if you make that, or might match better if you uh, make that thicker. So we could start down here. So now you see it's two. So that would take us here. So like I said, it's, when you're converting clip art, there is no right or wrong. They all tend to look pretty good in the end. So then we got that, we got that. Everything's there, so now we just have to go fill in the back stitches. So I just, you have to just do the outline and you'll fill the rest. Now there is a mode in PC Stitch that it will auto outline. I haven't had much luck with it, which is why I do the back stitch manually and then flood fill as you'll see. But as you can see, the process doesn't take too long. Once you get your keys mapped, so you don't have to continuously change tools. So I'm like control, off, control, off. Just hold down the control key, control key. And it lets me quickly just control, off, control, off. And you can just quickly go through this. Okay, so that's done there. And fill this here halfway, take it all the way down. You're almost done with the pattern. So there, we got it all outlined. You go select the paint or do it with your, and there you go. We've got that done. Now what I do is I reduce the size. Might as well just clear the underlay. And there you see your bear. So now we'll take this. We copy this part of the bear. Copy, paste. And then you do flip horizontal. Move that over. And you can do virtual stitches if you want. That gets you that. And now what you got to do is just replace your pink color with the black. So you go here, you find black, select that, and replace. And there's your completed bear.